Hey guys, uh, hobby update for February. Um, I haven't really got a whole lot done hobby-wise uh, since uh, my last video in January. Um, but I wanted to do a video anyway just to kind of try to keep on the monthly updates anyway. Um, so basically what I've done hobby-wise the um, over the last month is kind of pathetic. Um, I did finish the minefields, uh, so now I have two done. I will do a uh, quick little show and tell at the end of this video of the minefields. Um, I have some new editing software for videos, and the last video that I put out, um, the quality wasn't that great, or I wasn't too impressed with the video quality. So um, I will reshow the uh, Panzer, uh, the Panzer, uh, Panzer Shrek team, the flamethrower team. Uh, that I showed last uh, last video because uh, it was the quality wasn't that great I didn't think so I won't do that uh, what I'm actually working on now um, I just watched a video that Palmer did his first uh, Q&A and um, he mentioned in that Q&A uh, work the ADD that we suffer as war gamers and I know in my last video I was working on a fence and some other things and I've put those aside for now excuse me <clears throat> and uh, started working on something that I've been had sitting in packaging for quite a while now um, and that's Gamecraft Miniatures uh, 28 millimeter church um, I started working on that um, I'm not going to show a whole lot about it because um, what I'm doing is taking some pictures as I uh, work on it uh, what I'm going to do it's an MDF kit it's a really basic kit. The basic kit looks really nice, but uh, what I want to do is um, uh, kind of do something similar to what Sullivan Abuse Dread uh, did with a um, with a uh, MDF kit uh, that he was working on as a commission work, um, and do some clay uh, sculpting on the outside of it, and um, and do some add-ons to it to. Um, make it more than just an MDF um, box building I guess so I am working on that um, so I'm taking some photos and we'll do just kind of like a project update just on that separately I think keep everything separate and together with that but um, otherwise um, on Palmer's uh, he goes by uh, Heresy Productions is the name of his channel and a really great guy um, I did post a question to him if he thought a, a Q&A uh, for my channel would be something of a good idea and it's been something I was kicking around a while before he um, even uh, posted that question and answered my question in his most recent video and um, he suggested that I try it and I, I'm going to go ahead and try it so what I will ask of you guys um, you can ask any questions uh, put them in the comments um, like Palmer did, if there was a question, he just, he, uh, you know, he didn't answer it in the question, in the, in the comments. Uh, he waited until, uh, he did his video and that's, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, there's other folks that do that too, that I've seen and that's kind of where I got the idea and that's where he got the idea from too. So, uh, I want to make this kind of a, a more social type channel where, I get to know you guys and you get to know a little bit about me. Um, so you can ask me anything, um, any questions that you have. Um, if it's something that I don't feel comfortable answering, I, I'll make something up or I'll just tell you I don't know. But I can't think of anything that you can ask me that I'd be uncomfortable answering. But um, uh, so feel free to, to fire away. You know, it can be. It can be hobby related, it can be personal related, um, or just opinion related. Um, w one thing I, I will ask is no political stuff. Um, that's just, some, just please no political stuff because that just irritates people and it irritates me just as much as anything else. So, But anything else is, is fair game. Um, I think that's probably about it. Um, I've been 
kind of tinkering with some things. It always seems like I want to work on a couple different projects at one time, or I think I do. So I've got the church going. Um, I will get back to some more. I, I need to finish that 20 millimeter Cobra. Um, so I will work on getting that project done as well as some more 20 millimeter uh, Vietnam stuff. My chair's sliding. Um, so I think that's about it um, that I want to go over. Um, I haven't even touched my Dungeon Saga Kickstarter yet, which is unfortunate. I was hoping to play a couple games with my uh, nephews over Christmas, and um, somebody, a.k.a. me, uh, went to my folks uh, where we had Christmas, and I remembered presents, I remembered everything else, and I got there, and I had forgot Dungeon Saga at home. So, uh, it's still sitting, and I haven't tried to play any solo play on it yet. But, um, otherwise, um, things are good. And um, if you have questions for the, uh, I think we'll call it, um, let's call it shooting the shit with Smitty, I guess. And um, I'll post that up like the 15th of the month or the middle of the, each month. And uh, we'll do a hobby update at the beginning of the month. And there's two videos hopefully every month that you guys will get um, from me if I can keep my promise. So uh, that being said... I will um, end the video here with me chatting, and then I'll do a quick video at the end of of the um, of the minefields. And um, so, if I don't remember to say it at the end of the video, remember as I always say, take care of each other, be supportive of each other, enjoy this hobby. And um, uh, okay, guys, morning. here is here are I should say the two minefields. Um, they're six by six, or they're just under six by six inches, but the rules in Battlefield Europe, I think, is the name of the uh, supplement for Warlord games. Uh, they're supposed to be six by six. These are close enough. Um, I screwed up when I cut them. Um, so we'll just look at them real quick. I can't remember the rules for them, um, to be perfectly honest, or the points or anything like that. If that's something you guys are interested in, I can always put it. Um, in the notes, so just leave a comment if that's something that you're interested in. Uh, but these are all scratch built, and hopefully, my lighting sucks. And that's one thing that I really want to work on for videos. Um, this was the first one that I did a while ago. Uh, there's an ex was supposed to be exploded mine. Whoops, excuse me, with a U.S. backpack. Um, and blood trail there. Just really simple little project. Unfortunately, it just it was one of those things I started working on, and um, just put it to the side. Now I didn't notice until just now, but you will see how the highlighting is really only on the on the mounds where the mines are at on this one and this is more of a highlighted all over I guess I don't know which one I like better um, I wasn't consistent obviously in how I did it um, so your thoughts opinions are, are welcome below which you think which one you think looks best um, there's a sign laying there skull and crossbones or attempted skull and crossbones. I'll just turn these around so you can see the other side. It's pretty much the same thing, to be perfectly honest. Um, skull and crossbones. So, that's what we have. You can probably hear my chair squeaking, I'm sure. Um, and there's, we'll put the flamethrower in there for scale. So there we go. Um, while we're looking at how those pulled up, like I said, I apologize. The quality of my video last time was not the greatest. Um, so hopefully I can show off these guys a little bit better now. Try to. I'm going to try to build a light box, or not try, but I'm going to. Um, I've found some pretty simple light boxes to build. 
on the internet, kind of a how-to. Here, we'll do this. Obviously the flamethrower. His assistant. This was the, um, uh, we'll call it a bonus figure, I guess, for ordering X amount of dollars worth of Warlord products. Goes with their Eastern uh, front. I think it was when they released the Eastern front supplement to take crewman. Like I said in my other video, I really like this model. I really. Not a huge fan of the wounded um, figures, but this one, there was something about it. I don't know. I just, I really like it. Um, I think it's a great miniature. I wish Warlord would actually come back and sell that because I think that'd be really neat for um, those of you that uh, do tank wars or just want to use that as an objective marker. That's what I'm going to use it for. Uh, Panzer Shrek. This is a really cool model, like I said before. Um, you can see a little bit better the camo. Excuse me, about dropped him there. I really like this model for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, he's pretty cool. Maybe it's the dynamic pose. Um, and this is another dynamic pose as assistant. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place with the camera here. Pretty cool minis. Um, I'm happy with how they turned out. So, that's pretty much it. Um, that's them in the minefield. Hopefully they're stepping on dummy mines. But, um, that's it. Um, so, just a final plug. Um, make sure to put your questions down below if you have questions you want to ask me. Like I said, nothing um, nothing is out of line question-wise. Feel free to fire away, uh, with the exception of politics. Uh, just leave that out. And um, I don't think anybody would bring that up anyway. Uh, we have better things to worry about in our hobby time than, than politics. So um, I appreciate all the videos that everybody's putting out. Appreciate the subs. And... Um, I look forward to hearing from you guys and seeing some, what questions you come up with. Uh, so take care, and uh, we'll talk to you later.